Oshun State, Southwest Nigeria, is endowed with mineral resources such as gold, tourmaline, and other gemstones, which attracts artisanal miners. The activities of the miners, which are carried out in an unsustainable manner, however, poses great danger to the people's health and the environment, particularly the Ocean River, designated as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Worried by this development, the Director General, National Environmental Standards and Regulations Enforcement Agency, says full investigation has been launched into the miners' activities and no air in person or facility will be spared. Following the reference reports, the agency had intensified its compliance monitoring of the affected areas, which revealed a large presence of Chinese miners, who, with the aid of excavators and related equipment, mine and wash the minerals along or close to the river courses. There was also high activity of artisanal miners who scavenge surface minerals and abundant mine pits and wash them in nearby rivers, most of which are tributaries to the Ocean River. The river has become more turbid with reddish coloration from the disturbance of mining and washing into the river. This is worrisome, since the cultural practice at Ocean Group require contact with the water in the form of drinking, bathing, and people also use the water daily in their homes. Also, the farmlands around were degraded to the extent of one of those, most of the plantations, the cocoa plantations, are known to collapse on their own, falling down most of the trees, thereby making people to lose source of their livelihood. Jauru also shed light on other environmental concerns, including the planned review of selected national environmental regulations to make them more stringent and incorporate emerging issues. The main objective of the 2022 National Regulatory Dialogue are to fill in identified gaps in some select national environmental regulations, delineate roles, our responsibilities among stakeholders and incorporate operationalization of EcoGuard into the national environmental permitting and licensing system regulations. The regulations selected for review are one, the National Environmental Electrical Electronics Sector Regulations of 2011, two, the National Environmental Sanitation and Waste Control Regulations of 2009. Three, the National Environmental Permitting and Licensing System Regulations of 2009. Four, the National Environmental Domestic and Industrial Plastics, Rubber and Farm Sector Regulations of 2011. Uh, number five, the National Environmental Food, Beverages and Tobacco Sector Regulations of 2009. And the last one, the National Environmental hazardous chemicals and pesticides regulations of 2011. There are emerging environmental issues and interventions that have come up since some of these national environmental regulations were developed. Take for instance, circular economy on environmental protection model being championed globally and which Nigeria is implementing under the Extended Producer Responsibility Program. Some of our regulations predate the EPR, hence the need to review and incorporate it. The review of the regulations will also address the lapses that have been noted in the course of implementation. He pledged Nesria's commitment to ensuring effective compliance, monitoring and enforcement of policies, guidelines and multilateral agreements to which Nigeria is signatory, adding that the agency has so far developed 35 regulations guiding activities in the environment sector.